Now, let's talk a little bit about urban economics and how it works. Very important to, to understand. And here, the chart you have in here is, uh, is what we call, is what is called a monocentric city model. So in the monocentric city models, as what you see here, usually this is what, what is going to happen in most cities. So at the center of the city, you're going to have what is called the central business district where you have uh, mostly shopping centers and commerce and etc. That's going to be downtown. You're going to have it at the center of the city. Then one step away from that center, you're going to have what we call the transitional zone where people who have um, office building, the, the people will be having their businesses. Uh, Sometimes you're going to have um, deteriorated housing, uh, abandoned building in this number two area here. And one step again away, this is going to be the working class. Usually there's going to be a single family, tenants. Most tenants are going to be closer to the central district district. Most people renting housing, poor family, they are closer. And one of the reasons is also because of the, uh, the transit, the public transit. They have access to public transit. Okay. Uh, and you, you also have in this number three zone here, workers' residence. So this is where people will reside to sleep, etc. Then in number four here, you're going to have one step away. You're going to have what's called residential zone. In residential zone now, you're going to have single family. People who wanted to own a house will be a step away. You can see here the difference. People, most people renting, most people renting, like here, number three zone, are closer to the central district district. But people owning, you want to own a house, you may want to go a little bit further from the central business district. So that's why you're going to have the upper and the middle class uh, residency and the single family residency, etc. So if you have a single family residency a step away, that means closer to the central district district, you have any family residents there that are going to be more family. And the way now you're going to have the suburbs, the villages and the different things. So this is what we call the central or the monocentric city models. And I want to mention something here is it is also based on the fact that usually if you are closer to the central business district, you're going to have low commuting time. Why? Because you have public transit. But you also need to remember that, okay, if you're closer to the central business district, rents are going to be higher. If you move away from the central business district, rents are going to be lower. Housing rents land rents and anything rent is going to be lower but lower rents to the edge of the circle here but high commuting time that means uh, okay you're going to spend a lot of time commuting or you want to use your private car etc and that's something uh there's a balance that needs to be done here and you really want to decide so uh that's basically that this is very important when talk about urban economics is uh so the monocentric uh, model is the model of the city where you have the central business district at the center. And the further you go away from the center, uh, the rent cost decrease. The rent, rent cost decrease and uh, community time, commuting, commuting time will increase. So um, that is what we need to remember here.